Have you ever considered the relationship we, as humans, have with tools? Yes, I know that's quite the nebulous term, but by tools, I mean the vast array of artificial things that we have created to make our lives easier. It may be hard to understand what a tool is in the big picture, because our modern life is absolutely flooded with them. Ovens, cars, hammers, and computers all belong to this array of tools that make modern life what it is today. But what makes a tool a tool, and why is it so intimately connected to humanity? Well, let's explore. In this series, I take the most mundane, overlooked, or just plain obvious everyday things that we take for granted in our modern world. I break them down, look at them from the big picture, and share their fascinating significance for us humans. In this episode, let's talk about tools. What distinguishes humanity from the rest of the animal kingdom? Sure, our intelligence or our advanced communication skills make us unique. However, we are also among a select few to have ever used tools. Our far distant ancestor, Homo habilis, or better known as the handyman, is the first species we have recorded using tools, some two and a half million years ago. The handyman created the first artificial things, such as sharpened knives to make the butchering of meat easier for them. Later, when our species, Homo sapiens, emerged on the scene, we adopted the tool-creating habits of our ancestors and expanded them further. Over the long flow of time, we became the creators of bows and arrows, fishing spears, and canoes, thus ushering in what we knew as the Stone Age. We became masters of our environments and created an array of early tools to exercise our will on the natural world. Even further along the course of history, we see our ancestors beginning to develop tools that enabled the cultivation of agriculture. The earliest crops, such as emmer wheat or hold barley, required plows, yokes, and harvest sickles, all tools that had to be crafted from our natural environment. Agriculture enabled the development of increasingly complex societies and civilizations in places like ancient Egypt, Sumeria, and China. Within these societies, clay tablets and styluses were invented to usher in the written word while the wheel was invented to enable novel means of transportation. Civilizations were built by our tools, and as we created increasingly complex tools, our world became less dangerous, more predictable, and more controllable. When we again speed forward in history, we can see that tools have been even more integrated into our way of life. During the Industrial Revolution, we learned how to first harness steam power and coal to usher in a new age of tools. We saw an explosion of tools in our lives, with every successive year bringing novel inventions that assisted humanity. Trains enabled faster transportation. Radio lines enabled near-instant communication. And electricity enabled us to see in the dark. In the big picture, the Industrial Revolution was a turning point for humanity, on par with the advent of agriculture or the rise of our species. Before the Industrial Revolution, change was slow and gradual. You could almost guarantee that your grandchildren would lead similar lives to yourself. Yet after the Industrial Revolution, the only constant was change, with every generation living a wildly different life than their ancestors. What was changing, though? Well, our tools were. Grandpa may have used a horse-drawn buggy, but you were driving an automobile. Grandma may have used oil lamps, but you were using light bulbs. These advancements in our tools changed the way we live. Each innovation built on each other to make industrial-age humans superhumans by previous standards. And over the course of this evolution, our tools became ever more indispensable. With these new, ever more powerful tools, humanity could enforce its will on the world like never before. The Industrial Revolution hasn't stopped either. Rather, we have witnessed further iterations of the Industrial Revolution, with many contemporary scholars 
arguing that we are right now in the midst of the fourth industrial revolution. In each iteration, change only accelerated and our lives became easier. We now carry the entirety of human knowledge in our pockets. We can fly to any place in the world in little more than a day. And now, we are on the precipice of building tools that can think for themselves. We may be at the end of a process that started some two and a half million years ago, when our ancestors built the first artificial tools. Our ancestors, both near and distant, were creators of inanimate tools which enabled humanity to influence the natural world according to our wants and needs. Now, we are the creators of tools that may in turn tell us how to influence the natural world. Imagine a hammer telling you how to better hit a nail, or a car taking you on a better route. Artificial intelligence is fast becoming embedded in our tools. That is, a brain-like structure capable of learning and communicating with humanity on different courses of action. Never before have our tools been able to communicate with us. This is a paradigm shift from the past 2.5 million years. Our tools may no longer be simple extensions of our will, but rather thoughtful artificial things that are just as capable of influencing the natural world themselves. Perhaps we are merely their precursors. In the long flow of human history, the creation of increasingly complex tools seemed to only adhere to our collective desire to make our lives easier. Yet now, we are creating tools that could one day surpass us in terms of intelligence, curiosity, and maybe even consciousness. It seems almost unintentional, an unintended consequence to an otherwise selfish pursuit. Yet, in the big picture, our tools may become our conscious successors, capable of all the beauty and creation we associate with humanity. And that is something truly worth your contemplation. Well, that's a wrap. Thank you. Please like and subscribe for more big picture perspectives. Just remember to stay curious. See you next time.